Hi friends, myself Dr. Khushbu and today I am presenting a very important topic regarding basic difference between rhabdomyosarcoma and chondrosarcoma. So what is rhabdomyosarcoma? It is a malignant neoplasm developing from the estrited skeletal muscle cells and it is the most common soft tissue sarcoma among children. Head and neck area is the most frequent site. These neoplasm may arise either from the existing skeletal muscle cells or it may be from the pluripotential mesenchymal cells. You heard this term pluripotential and it is very important. Pluripotential means the embryonic stem cells as an example. You should have to know uh, what is pluripotent cells. So the embryonic stem cells that are the pluripotent cells and it have the capacity to divide any kind of cells like neural cells and like uh, 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 like uh, fibroblast like muscle tissue and like uh, any kind of embryonic stem cells and in chondrosarcoma it is a malignant neoplasm of bone in which the neoplastic cell exclusively produce abnormal cartilage tissue but no osteoid or bone means there is neoplastic cell that produce cartilage but they don't form bone or osteoid according to who head and neck chondrosarcoma is a malignant tumor that characterized by the formation of cartilage but no not bone by tumor cells so there is no formation of bone by tumor cells like osteosarcoma and in here the cartilage uh, formation abnormal cartilage formation occur but no formation of bone or osteoid so in the jawbone nearly all chondrosarcoma arises as de novo malignant lesion without the pre-existence of any benign chondroma sometimes the lesion get arises de novo so uh, in the uh, jaw region uh, there frequently de novo it arises whereas certain um, chondroma which pre-existing it is benign tumor but later on they transform into malignant changes and it leads to the chondrosarcoma so after the uh, introduction we will discuss here about the etiology the rhabdomyosarcoma is by inherited genetic change from a parent then put them at a higher risk and basically it is formed by the translocation between two genes chromosome 2 and chromosome 13 they are responsible for that and the moves is creating a pax fox01 fusion gene it is very important because pax gene play an important role in cell growth so while embryo's muscle tissue is being formed it parks gene play an important role but these gene usually shut down once they are no longer needed but after the translocation fox01 gene keep the parks gene activated and they produce abnormal muscle formation researchers few researchers that suggested that embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma develops in different way where the igf2 gene on chromosome 11 is seen on seen to be overactive so igf2 gene codes a protein that can make these tumor cells grow so these are the etiology of the rhabdomyosarcoma after rhabdomyosarcoma etiology we come over the etiology of chondrosarcoma it is slight different because here the activated has hook pathway existed in chondrosarcoma generally we know that the bone formation and in bone formation there is endochondral hyaline cartilage in this region and these from here the bone formation start and in this endochondral hyaline cartilage get um, uh, forming the bone but in perichondrium area there is cartilaginous part is um, left and this cartilaginous part is help in the uh, joining the adjacent bone so in bone formation there is regulatory signaling pathway that is the activated hedgehog pathway and this activated hedgehog 
pathway have the positive uh, feedback uh, uh, to produce chondrocytes and this positive feedback is controlled by the parathyroid hormone releasing protein and they uh, they control by negative feedback but where the um, these control get disturbed and there is continuous production of the chondrocyte it will get the um, oncogenesis of the cartilaginous tissue in the other um, uh, slide we here uh, discuss about uh, the uh, coal uh, other hypothesis that related to uh, that related to the chondrosarcoma apart from the indian hedgehog and parathyroid hormone related protein the other pathway is suggested by uh, few investigator that is coal 2a1 mutation it is also important apart from that there is iso uh, citrate dehydrogenase mutation so idh mutation is also important because pre existing uh, chondroma or pre existing in chondroma they turning into the malignant changes and it will lead to the chondro sarcoma due to idh mutations apart from that we come over the part of rhabdomyosarcoma earlier we know the rhabdomyosarcoma has the uh, skeletal muscle uh, malignancy and it is associated um, uh, with uh, uh, certain factors like a translocation of gene but here we are discussing about certain syndrome associated rhabdomyosarcoma uh, uh, like neurofibromatosis uh, nunan and lifrumeno or costello syndrome these are the syndrome where they are associated with rhabdomyosarcoma apart from that they have changes in the tumor suppressor gene p53 and the tumor suppressor gene p53 they play an important role to correct the cell cycle so any defect in the cell cycle or any damaged dna that will repaired by t53 in g1 s phase but where the G, uh, t53 get mutated these cell cycle have the checkpoint and that checkpoint is become faulty and the cell cycle continues with damaged dna keep dividing keep dividing and they will lead to the rhabdomyosarcoma so this is also important role certain syndrome like lifromeni syndrome here the p53 gene is also mutated and it is associated with rhabdomyosarcoma apart from that we come over the part of clinical feature and they are the most common soft tissue sarcoma and below 15 year of age group and rare beyond 45 year of age female predilection common in head and neck region followed by the genito urinary tract and extremities so 40% of the lesion that occur in head and neck region occurrence in the oral cavity is rare it accounts for 6% of all malignancies in children under the age of 15 year it is very important because the age of the rhabdomyosarcoma below 15 year of age and it is very rare beyond 45 years of age so apart from that the chondrosarcoma of the head and neck are rare and may involve sinonasal tract jaw larynx or skull base apart from that there is the tumor uh, can occur at any age between 10 and 80 years but the peak incidence is during the fourth and sixth decade of life and there is clinical presentation of rhabdomyosarcoma we can see here there is extensive growth pattern and there is extensive growth pattern and infiltrating soft tissue mass uh, under the adjacent areas sometimes if the maxillary region is involved they can invade into the sinus area orbit area and the uh, mass is extensive and sometimes it is necro uh, necros or lacerated whereas in chondrosarcoma the overlying surface is intact it is not lacerated or it is not so extensive like uh, rhabdomyosarcoma but sometime it is associated with mobility or drifting of the tooth apart from that in this picture we can see there is palatal swelling is also present and there is alveolar um, region of the left side of the maxilla is swollen here and in drifting of the tooth is also associated with that apart from that we come 
over the variant of rhabdomyosarcoma and chondrosarcoma we will conclude here and continue this video lecture in other part so keep watching my video and if you like please share and subscribe my channel thank you